common livestock breeds cattle breeds what did he want none of your business that's rude hey can we continue yes livestock breeds good first it is important you understand the difference between breed and type of animal i am all ears even though i thought they mean one and the same thing do you ever keep quiet anyway animal type indicates the purpose for which the animal is kept for example dairy animals for milk beef animals for meat and dual purpose animals for both milk and meat what about breed breed refers to a group of animals having the same characteristics and a common origin origin you say is that why our cows are so different from the ones i see here exactly we have two categories of cattle breeds based on origin indigenous are native or local cattle that have their roots within africa just like you they belong to a class called bos indicus however it is difficult to classify these cattle into breeds because of varying characteristics brought by uncontrolled breeding any known examples well we have a few including the boran and the zebu these cattle reveal certain general characteristics i'll go first okay they have humps to store fat for energy during drought mm-hmm. as a result they grow slowly causing them to mature late they are hardy to tropical diseases like trypanosomiasis and can withstand hot weather due to the presence of dewlap and thick skin excellent since they are hardy these animals can walk for long distances in search of water and pasture sometimes this food and water become so scarce that the animals have to go for days without it and as a result of these hardships the animals have to go through they have low production of milk and meat i guess the cattle we keep at home are indigenous they fit the description so well <laughs> it is not worthy to mention that the boran cattle found in northeastern part of kenya is relatively bigger in size than the east african zebu it is the most important of the indigenous cattle why because it is big well it is more suited for the tropics than other breeds for example its white skin color radiates the scorching sun heat away mm-hmm. its body is compact deep and wide making it strong it has a long wide and dropping rump it also has a large hump and dewlap and above all it produces quality meat that's okay however boran cattle breed grows slowly and therefore matures late but surprisingly they are affected by cold weather do they catch a cold i guess so their cows weigh an average of 400 to 450 kg while bulls weigh between 550 to 650 kilos all in all boran cattle have been widely used to improve the zebu breeds for quality meat production sawa so apart from indigenous cattle what else is there exotic breeds now these are breeds of cattle that originated from the temperate regions of europe what do you mean by temperate regions now these are regions with the climate characterized by mild temperatures yani not hot and not cold they belong to the class of cattle called bos taurus how does one identify them good question an exotic breed has no humps thrive in cooler climates like in the kenya highlands mm-hmm. grow fast and mature early and also produces good quality meat and milk mhm sounds like the opposite of our local breeds exactly now that said exotic breeds are highly prone to tropical diseases like trypanosomiasis 
They cannot walk for long distances and have a short calving period of one calf per year if well managed. So, since native cows are better adapted to tropical climate, mm-hmm. should I advise my mzee to keep some more on our farm? Yes, but if you buy land in the Kenya Highlands someday, I recommend you rare exotic breeds. You won't regret it, my friend. That's a dream I wish to fulfill. Is there anything else I should know about exotic breeds? A lot more. I am hungry. Let's eat first. If you say so, boss.